a new day, a new project. In fact, it's the old project. If you remember, I fixed this uh, to it yourself, it you on charger with this uh, TP4056 modules. These are the modules with uh, protection and uh, MOSFETs and so on. You know what's funny? Theoretically, this kind of modules shouldn't have any problem to work in this kind of environment. But I realized even with a heat sink, you see here I have this uh, heat sink and this uh, kind of uh, thermal pad to heat sink, it's not enough. So that was the problem. That's why the TP4056 itself get burned. Well, now I'm just trying to have some idea about temperatures here. So we got 33 on the connector. We have 44 on the heatsink. Let me see if I can reach this. 42 on the TPA itself. Let me take off the heatsink and let's see how it behaves without any kind of help, any kind of thermal help, I may say. Okay, so what I can say for now, it is really, really hot. So this is supposed to work for a single cell like that. Okay, let's have some temperature measurements here. Maybe we should write it down. Uh, so here we go. We have a cell charging over here. First of all, the input to all these cells is around 6.90 volts. This is coming from a power supply like this, and this is not delivering more than 12 volts, 1.5 amps. It's not such a big deal about the power. We have the cell over here, 383. So this one is charging, you see here, okay, 0, 29, 28 amps, 280 amps. This is perfect, absolutely perfect. But let's check the temperatures. So this over here is TP4056. It shouldn't be exactly for the charge itself because it had all the other extra circuits here, protection and so on. So if we take a measurement on TP4056, we got like 45 degrees. 46, let me see the other one. This is 54. What about this one? 40. 56. 41. And 46. Okay. So this one over here is the most hottest one. Let's see about the current delivers. Zero, three, one amps 310 milliamps of course you can't do more but the point is that i can feel that by hand they are very hot super hot 44 51 and 40. so if you really want to use this kind of modules how can i say industrial way there's the temperature of these metal parts over here they are working like a radiator 42 degrees 31 this is funny because this one is not working at all but it still have a 31 for, and so on okay this little heat sink is not 
helping at all. So I think the best solution is to have a fan. A simple fan like this, 12 volts, somehow here in the middle. Okay, then we can take this off. This is plus. So uh, we are having this 12 volt straight in main power supply. Like I said before, this is only 1.5 amps power supply. So I don't even imagine what means to have a better power supply. So there we are. This is just a test, so it's not the final solution. Let's plug in the things. Okay, so we have the fan running. Let's wait a little bit to see about the temperatures. This fan is taking only 0.14 milliamps. And you can hear that it's almost noiseless. Okay, let's check the temperature. So the first TP is going down to 36 degrees. I'm not sure if I can reach the, the, the second one. Yeah, I can. That's funny, it says 64. What about the first one here? 27. So it's only number four over here. Or number three, in fact. It says 69. 50. Okay, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, all the temperature went down drastically. So, this is the final result. Uh, you can use this kind of modules to have your own, do your cell it your own charger. Finally, this was the answer why this kind of circuit, which is very strong, TP4056, blew up. It wasn't enough thermal dissipation. So I think the single way to do that is to have a fan over here. And now we can rely on this kind of uh, do-it-yourself lithium chargers. Even uh, with bigger currents, I don't have a bigger one. That's the single one I have now, 1.5 amps. But as long as I can say the temperature went down drastically. You couldn't touch this before. So I think this is the kind of solution, I may say. Just a little fan. Okay, thanks for now. This is just an idea. But I may say that it's working great. So uh, I'll be back with some other projects soon. Uh, don't forget to have fun and be safe. Bye bye.